Motosim 5.1 can now directly import 3D CAD geometry. For this demonstration, we're going to import a couple of Parasolid files directly from SolidWorks. So we're going to flip over to SolidWorks first and convert the model. Here we have a multi-part tool in SolidWorks. We're going to suppress out the top two components, so that metal structure at the top and the cylinder. Now we're going to save as a parasolid. And we're going to put it into the Modasim models folder. Change this to a parasolid and rename it. And we're going to hit save. Next we're going to do the reverse. So we're going to unsuppress these two components and begin suppressing the remaining parts of the model. So, I'm gonna get these two side beams, the end components, and the lower beams. Now we're gonna save as a parasolid. And we're gonna put this in the same folder, so the CAD import models folder, change it to a parasolid file type, and rename the file and hit save. Let's move back into Modisim and we're going to import those two parasolid files. So we'll start by selecting the CAD tree. Next we're going to select the add button and browse. First notice that we have a variety of import options not just parasolid. SAT, IDIS, STEP, direct from Katia, SolidWorks, and Venner. So there are other choices. So let's hit open. Hit OK. Now notice that there's a check mark there for direct CAM teaching. In this case select that. This brings in actual geometry. We want to reposition the part. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, line it up with the floor, and hit OK. Keep that part selected and add again, browse, select the second parasolid and hit open. Hit OK. Keep that checked for the CAM teaching, hit OK again, and there we go. We now have a complete assembly of actual geometry. This can be used for path generation for welding or painting.